What up guys, this is Casey the Draw again, and today we're going to do something kind of different. We're going to play the NES versus the Atari. See which game is better than which other. This is, uh, we will be playing Galaga on the NES, and we will be playing Galaga on the Atari 7800. They're both 8-bit graphic games. Um... Uh, I'm using this N Classic because it puts out HD for the NES. And I'm going to play on my Atari 2600 Plus that plays 7800 Games 4 compatible in HD. So, yes, we want to see which game is closer to the arcade, which one is better uh, with graphics, controls, and sound. I will be also using the same type of controller. I have this NES looking controller for the Atari, so it'll give Atari 7800 a little bit more advantage than playing on the joystick. So, um, it'll give the same advantage as the NES. So, let's see who wins. Let it run through the demo for a second. No music. You gotta love that. No music during the demo. There we go. How these shooters, uh, space shooters from the 80s, I'm gonna have to say Galaga is probably my favorite. Definitely, I like it over Galaxian. I don't know, but I don't know Black White. I, I don't like Galaxian as well. I mean... Sorry. Oh! Got it. But I prefer the Galaga over Galaxian and Space Invaders. I would say Gal Galaga, then Galaxian, then Space Invaders. Woo! Uh, there's just some YouTubers. For some reason, they'll say the Atari 7800 has the better graphics than the NES. I, I would totally disagree with that. Is it game over? Okay. When they do the whole... Oh, gosh. Game over. Wow, that was fast. Let's try again. Like, I was watching this one YouTuber who was uh, putting it, the NES versus the Atari 7800. Obviously, Nintendo eventually won, but he gave the point to graphics to Atari 7800. Like, 
I disagree with that. I mean, I'm not, I, I like Atari 7800. But better graphics than the NES? I totally disagree with that. That's why a lot of times some of these uh, people who would make the, like a, let's say they'll make a compilation of, of the arcade games on a small device and they want to try to save the memory, they'll use the NES version because the NES version is close to the arcade as it is. I mean, some people can tell the difference from... If I, like, played the back to back, I'd probably say, okay, like, if someone's like, here's controller to play the, the arcade, whoa, and another one to the NES, I could probably tell the difference, but like I was saying, some of the devices that would, oh, I got them all. They will use NES, uh, NES games because they'll save, saves the memory. If they didn't do the, was the, when they come and try to, uh, what do they call it when they're diving? When they're diving down, that's when they usually get me, because I want to get out of the way. Like that, and then, but, Get me. Oh, he got me. Oh. Close. Those yellow ones look like bump of like honeybees. Oh, they got me, dang it. Game over. My percentage went up this time. Let's try again. Well, I do pr like playing the Turbo Graphics version or the PC Engine version of Galactia. Uh, and it's actually more superior than the arcade. Oh, wow. I never got it where I almost cleared the board that quick. Got it! But yeah, when you're playing the Turbo Graphics, and the PC Engine version is superior than the arcade version, arcade version, because well, it's obviously on more powerful hardware. Yeah, 
Yeah, when they do that. That's when they get me. I'm totally missing them, man. Almost got them all. I didn't do good on that one. I got a bonus, though. My goal is try to at least get to the next bonus area. The only thing that sucks about arcade games that are on consoles, uh, I mean, you're gonna play the same thing over and over and over, and you can't, a lot of them won't have continues because, well, they're arcade games. Oh, come on, that's BS right there. They're waiting for them all to return. All right. Those green ones are hard because they, you have to hit them twice. to get to the next bonus stage. All right. Or challenge stage. That was a hard one right there. Oh, come on. That just went right through me. I'm doing good now. I should do Atari 7800 versus the NES. Like, put same game versus the same game. Oh, come on! Well, that is it. I gave my best shot. Got to level 8. Alright, let's play the NES version now. Oh, it already looks a lot better. 
and actually plays a lot better too. Like I feel like the controls is a little bit better. And you gotta remember, I was playing with a NES style controller on the 7800. Look at that. Thing that I want. I'm telling you right now, the NES is already a lot better on graphics on than the 7800 on this. This is a lot closer to the actual arcade game. Like I said before, a lot of times when uh when companies make arcade like things like small little arcade uh I'm trying to think the word little arcade. There's many arcade things. Uh, they'll use the NES port than the actual arcade game. That's what I meant. There's many arcade things. Because you can fit way more games, arcade games, well, arcade like games if they're the NES port. And it's really hard to tell the difference from one and the other. Some people tell you, oh yeah, this is the, definitely the NES version. And this is definitely the arcade. I'm sure if someone would say, hey, this version is definitely the arcade. I'm sure some people could do that. Kazi. That's what I was trying to think earlier when I was trying to, uh, when they kamikaze at you. That's when they get me all the time. Oh! Game over. Alright, let's try that again. Even look at that, my hit to miss ratio is actually even better on the NES as well. My score and the high score. Yeah, graphics is better, controls are better. Like if I was playing with the joystick of the 7800, oh my god, this would be even worse for the Atari. Like I said, I was using a NES version of a control. Oh, got him. And a lot of times those joysticks are not great for games like this. I prefer a deep D-pad. Because you can, it's a lot easier to control than a joystick. Now I'm not going to compare the 2600 games because that is, wouldn't be fair. Because we definitely know for sure that the Atari 2600 is not as powerful as the NES. So, I mean, the 7800 is the... 8 bit ver oh come on, that's BS. 7800 is their 8 bit versions. And the sound definitely is better because. 
on the 7800, they use the 2600 sound chip. Whoa, dang it. Oh my god. Yeah, when they come kamikaze at you, that's when they get me a lot of times. Like that, see? You gotta avoid that because he would pick you up. Got him! Stage 5. That's where I died last time. Ooh, just... I just broke my high record. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. That is not... Oh my god, I just barely sneaked right through that. Oh, he got me at the very end. Let's try it one more time. 50% this time. Look at that. I'm a lot closer to the high score. One more time. You see, 1981, I believe that's the year for Galaga for their arcade in 1988, probably the NES version of Galaga. And that's the demo right there. Fun game. Like I said, definitely hands down prefer play Galga over Glaxian and Space Invaders. I know I repeated myself, but this game is so good. But it's so hard when they kamikaze at you. Especially when they kamikaze and fire at you. Like that. Oh, yeah, got it. When they come and it, and they shoot, that's, that's almost not fair because you have less time to react, but don't remember you're also. Let's. Let it take my... Let him capture it. Because... Watch this. <gasps> I just blew up! I was going to try to... Where I could, uh... Have double sh shooters. Got him. But I got... Got them all right there. I did better right there. Right there now. I don't think that they should count that as a stage because that's a challenge stage. Because you're not gonna get hurt on the challenging stage. Ooh. 
Ooh. Let's see if we can try this again. Look, fighter capture. Killed my guy again. <laughs> Game over. That little bumblebee. Yep. Alright, let's try this one more time. It's so fun of a game. This time, we won't let my fighter get captured. Should just go ahead and buy a copy of the arcade copy of uh, Galactica. I, actually, I got the mini arcade version of Galactica. Whoa, dude, did you see that? Whoa. Oh, come on. <gasps> he snuck by. Yeah, when the kamikaze and true at it, it's almost damn near hard to get past them. Oh, dang it. This is not good. I wanted to try to do the best, and I'm already on my last guy. Got him. Bam. Oh, well, that's it, guys. Hands down. That's my better hit-to-miss ratio right there. 51%. Almost 52%. But, uh, hands down, the wind goes to the NES with better controls, better graphics, better music, closer to the arcade, uh, graphics. So, hands down, NES wins over the Atari 7800. So, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.